The deep, dark waters of the ocean can be pretty creepy. So, Moat Aquarium is a perfect place to celebrate all things spooky for Halloween. Casey Gaylord Opaleski from Moat has brought us some creepy creatures to share with <laughs> us. And this is creepy and slimy. Yes. <laughs> can we yes, please point is. out what's happening down yeah. at the end can there? We I mean, how are you this feeling, is, Jeffrey? Seriously, I don't know why I'm having such an issue with this, but this is really gross. <laughs> he may pass out. He just might. I I'm know, telling it, you, well, it's, it's just, I don't know why I eat sushi, but boy, that's. <laughs> okay, so Casey, well, what is pretty it? weird? What so is what, it? Okay, so <laughs> here we have um, market squid, basically. If anybody likes to eat calamari out there, this is exactly <laughs> what you like to gross. eat. Um, this is also a, a good food source for the animals at Boat Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. Oh, as well. okay. Oh, good. And in our education <sighs> division, we use it to teach about the spineless sea. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So these are invertebrates. These are squid. They're related to octopus and cuttlefish, uh, both of which we have on display at the aquarium if you come to visit. All so right. who eats so these at Moe? You do. <laughs> no, I know I do. I love squid. <laughs> no, um, our sea turtles will eat them. Okay. Um, some of our fish, um, I mean, a variety of right. animals mm -hmm. that and we And you have just toss them on in there. We toss them on in there. Restaurant oh, quality. They don't, they don't need to fry them. No, they don't. They don't need them yeah. breaded and fried. <laughs> I do. All right, well, you decorated our set with some yes, other things. Tell absolutely. Us about yes. what's over here in front so of So, what we're highlighting really is the bone zone. So, we've got lots of different um, skulls and teeth, and Ooh, we even have a. That one should look familiar. I I hope. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then we've got a stingray barb as well. But really, um, this is to talk about kind of comparative um, anatomy. So okay. tomorrow night, fr or actually Friday, October 20th, uh -huh. will be our annual Night of Fish Fun and Fright. It's our Halloween event. Uh -huh. And so we have lots of activities for families to do as they come to the Halloween event. And these are just two of them. So Bone Zone will be an interactive table where people okay. can talk about um, different animals. What do you think this is, Jeff? That is a porpoise. Uh, wrong. No. Uh, an alligator. Uh, it's no. not an alligator. You're no. close, Jeff. You're closest. Oh, it's sort of like really? It's yeah. a dolphin. It's a dolphin. You oh, got okay. it. There's a wow. difference between dolphin and porpoise. Oh. So this is a bottom-nosed dolphin skull. Wow. Yes, they you have about a hundred sharp teeth behind that smile. That smile is just the way they look, folks. Mm. So, um, so yes, that you. is a. <laughs> and, this is a, and this is a manatee, right? That is a manatee. No, yes, I that is a manatee front ones. flipper. You can. Oh, yes, they have humans. fingers. Isn't that amazing? Like that. And even if you look at a manatee closely on the outside of their body, they actually have fingernails. Oh, really? They do. Oh, yes. Who cuts those? They're related to elephants. Actually, <laughs> our manatee you cares about them. Wait, oh. your manatee gets this fingernails yes, cut? Yes, they get that. That's the coolest thing <laughs> ever. That's why <laughs> they used to call yes. them mermaids, right? That's probably part well, of that mermaid legend. I mean, legend. I think it was due to a lot of sailors being out at sea really long. Oh, they thought a manatee <laughs> looked like a Attractive female? I'm not really sure how that works. Is this well, a large shark? <laughs> that is um, the tooth, a fossilized tooth of megalodon. Um, the mega tooth is yeah. what right. a lot of people wow, call that it. Is a huge tooth. Yes. Okay, well, let's get back to, to this. You want to get so, back to this? Yes, okay. please, let's. So we've got our squid here. Yes. So one activity is the spineless sea at night of fish, fun, and fright. So we thought we'd do a little dissection this oh, nice. morning. Fun. So, okay, so it's what we're going to do, ladies, it is squishy. So actually, you know what? I'm going to show you something really cool. Okay. I'm going to hold this for you. Okay. And actually rub your finger along the top of it kind of hard and see what happens. And do you see it changing color? <gasps> I can't do it. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's yours, yours is doing yeah, it. Yeah, it changes yeah. Color. color. Squid change color. Okay, so what you're doing it's is spotty. you're actually <laughs> you're actually stimulating their chromatophores. So like cephalopods, <laughs> like squid and octopus and cuttlefish, have chromatophores. These are color-changing cells, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. how they can camouflage themselves so well in the ocean. Oh, that makes oh. sense. Yeah. That's okay, exciting. so ladies, we're going to flip a squid over. You're going to take your scissors, okay, and you're just going to slice right down the back of oh, that okay. and go all the way up to its fins. I am so sorry, squid. These are the simplest dissection, but one of the coolest, because squid are really neat. I am and sorry. And there you go, Linda. You're good. Are you apologizing to the dead squid? Okay. I hope you're dead. So you can go ahead and open that. Oh, oh, oh. It's got gross things in it. That one just ate. It does ate. have gross that things That one just it. ate. I know it did. So I can tell you some fun facts what about these this? animals. Yes, what do. Do you think, yes. What do you think this black thing is? That's this bile. Dark Intestine. Duct. Intestine. This? No. Bile duct. What yeah. do squid and octopus do to maybe ink. get away? Oh. Yes, they ink. So oh. that's their oh. ink sac. Okay. So if you were to actually puncture that, ink would start to Should cut. I do it? You can. Yeah. Puncture I don't want it. I'll just yeah. Yeah. Come on, poke a hole in it. Do it. Just Linda. Oh my gosh. Yes. Linda's stabbing it. Sta uh, cut it. 
cut it. Yeah. Oh, I get so much scissor. advice. There you go. It's open. Oh, there you go. No one's ever going to accuse Linda of being a surgeon. So it's not going to shoot out, <laughs> oh, but oh you're going to get some out. Gosh. Oh, my God. This if is really kids gross. love gross things, so this is perfect. Fun this fact is gross. about these animals, they actually have three <gasps> hearts. Uh -huh. three you can't hearts? see them because they're so tiny and it's kind of one color. It's kind of milky looking in there. Yeah. But they have three hearts, two that go to one to each gill and then one that pumps oxygen-rich blood all over the rest so of the body. So what's all this milky well, stuff? Well, that, that very well could be a little bit of... Poo? It could be a little bit of poo. <laughs> you know. Oh, so they do. Well, yeah, of course. They've, they have to get rid of waste as well. Now, another cool thing about these animals is they have pens. So these are spineless. They don't have a backbone. Right. Yeah. But they have something that acts like a backbone, and I'm going to see if I can get one out for you. You, want, you want to use my um, scissors? It actually works better with a little bit okay. of fingernail. But they have a pen, and it's kind of like a remnant shell that they use to help to stabilize their you. body. Oh, Here we go. Look oh, at that. I broke it. Oh, I see it though. Wait, it's got like a hard end. Yes, the, it's <laughs> actually it's chitinous. Oh, <laughs> so let's see. Here we go. Oh, Here we go. Ah! You, oh, look at this. So this Holy is cow, pen. that came out of here? Jeffrey, are you that watching? I'm watching. Him. I'm watching. This is great. That's really cool. So, so, they they have a pen. so it helps to stabilize their body. Stuff oh, without a glove. Like a, spine. Oh, wow. a little bit hands. like a backbone since they don't have them, but it is a chitinous substance. Yeah. So oh, it, can, cool. it can wiggle. I can show you something else. You want to get it's a little like gross plastic. here, Jeff? You're going to love this here. Is there any grosser? Okay, so this is their beak. Their beak is in between all of their arms and their two tentacles. You mind tilting just a little bit? I want to show the viewers too. Yes. yes. That's Let's I don't want just us to be oh, so that out. Be, <laughs> that. The feet is in between um, eight arms, two tentacles, and they will use this beak. Of course, these guys are ravenous carnivores. But check this out. This is really fun. You can actually pop that beak out. Oh, yeah, great. And fun. there's a little bit of esophagus <laughs> that came with it. Another fun fact about these guys: their esophagus actually goes between their brain. Their brains are <laughs> donut shaped. And the esophagus Man. shoots up the middle? These guys have a very complicated yes. body. It's very cool, very simple. This is very but I need to ask an alarming question. Oh, when yes. we eat these, what happens to all these parts? Are we eating them? Well, yeah. I think when we eat them, they're cleaned out quite nicely. Good. All right. And the rings them. that you eat, that's definitely that's the mantle. The, yeah. Right. Yeah. How long do they live? Um, Not market long squid now. don't <laughs> yeah, these guys are done. Uh, market squid don't tend to live very long, maybe a year. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. they have a short life, but they oh, have a good that, one. <laughs> is that what you call this? <laughs> a good life. This is called education. <laughs> All right, well, the night of fish, fun, and fright is October the 20th. For more information, go to Moat's website. And next we're gonna learn to how to keep our skin healthy. And Linda's gonna continue to dissect. <laughs> Keep cutting, keep cutting, Linda. It's going to get better and better. Here, Jeffrey. Oh. <laughs>